zero point zero percent. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Hello YouTube, hello electric riders. Oh, it's pretty dark here, <laughs> so let there be light. <laughs> Yeah, now it goes. So, here we are. Today's challenge, I will see how much range I will get out of this crazy, insane, torquey electric beast, y'all. Because, now, let me see. I'm just charging up to 100, uh, do the last few percent. And then we go on a trip, easy riding, all the day, all the way. I, I came up with the idea because, yeah, people write me comments. Uh, how's the range all the time and also how many miles will I get out of this motorcycle I'm very curious um, yeah so when it's charged up I would say see you later alligator <laughs> and yeah let's hit the roads so one thing before we go on this trip <laughs> Let's check the tire pressure so far. Do, 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 do. Ah, yeah. Ah. So when I need the gas station, then I go for free just uh, checking the tire pressure. <laughs> I don't pay her for anything. This myth about tires, tire pressure, uh, always come up in some um, Facebook group or wherever, Insta, whatever, YouTube, arguing about tire pressure, which one is the best, which is the best tire, and all this kind of crap. So let's I'll tell you why I choose this tire and why I go with this pressure. So it's three bar, uh, almost uh, 45 psi, and I have the. Dunlop Sportsmart MK3 Mark III tire on it. The core, the interior of the tire, is essential for a uh, good range or a good grip because mo yeah, most tires are made for uh, lower weight of the bike. And this causes that the tires get more uh, pressure. So the tire is is is, uh, is uh, has a round shape, and when you ride it, it it yeah it squeezes more. And this one is is made for a higher weight of the motorcycle. It has a um, a little bit stronger core, so it keeps that round shape. It's made for this weight, and that's the reason why it rolls better, why it is more efficient. And when we uh, put more pressure on it, so it stays. The, on this, um, it keeps the shape. Three bar front and, and behind. So max efficiency for today. I usually I don't write with this much pressure. I uh, write with 2.5 bar. But as I told you, this is uh, for this tire. Other tires, it's an it's another uh, theory. But in general. If you go with two and a half bar, this is not, uh, yeah, it's uh, 40, 30, 40 PS, I don't know. This is not wrong, whatever. So today, we don't need grip. It's, uh, grip is not the topic today. We want to go super efficient, so yeah. Oh yeah, this 0 0.5 bar more in the tire, I just, I feel it, I just feel it. I uh, can't tell you, but yeah, it's that what I told you at, about the shape. You feel more the shape. It it lean better. It lean better. So far for the for the feedback with the tire give. Um, yeah. 
And this, yeah, the tire is a, a two-way compound. So on the side, you have a softer compound. In the, in the center, you have a harder compound. Yeah. So whatever, so much for theory. And I tell you, I, I don't overtake today. I ride the same speed as cars today. I will see how much range we can get out of it. So whatever. <laughs> Let's go for a ride and yeah, crank this reload, squeeze the last uh, ions out of the battery. Let's see how much range we get out, get out of it. So, <laughs> twizzy roads here going on. <laughs> so, now we was riding almost for an hour. You see a little bit more. And yeah, across the first quarter of, um, yeah, energy, 50 kilometers. And the funny thing is, this is 30 miles away from uh, where I live, near Basel, Switzerland. And this is, this is the French speaking part, or the, the yeah. You see the signs, school, and there it's uh, l'école, it's um, French. It's so funny in Switzerland. S yeah, it's a small country, and I, I go 30 miles, and yeah, I'm in the French part of Switzerland. Uh, here, nobody will understand German. <laughs> it is so funny. Um, you're, you're absolutely lost when you try to, to, to talk to anybody in German. They will not, they will not get it. <laughs> yeah, see, also this sign, du respect. <laughs> And yeah, but the way it looks, uh, these Rocky Mountains here look really cool. And Twizzy roads all the time. You can go straight, yo, yo, yo. But today, all right, conservative. Uh, I don't speed it here. <laughs> Whatever. So, but uh, anyways, I enjoy the ride. And for the nerds who want to know, Probably you see it um, most of the time. I ride between five or six kilowatt hour consumption, uh, so stay very co uh, conservative. And I also want to tell you, yeah, for this challenge, um, I try to let it coast, coast, coast as much as possible, and yeah, to uh, extend the range. And if I have to break, I can use regen like this. I don't use the brakes. See it? And the whole energy goes back into the battery. And I don't know where to go <laughs> by telling you stories here. Um, let me guess. So I told you I have no plan. <laughs> yeah, let's go here. Uh, hopefully I don't get lost here anywhere. I <laughs> uh, hope this, ha this will have good end. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, hey, I go ahead, running crazy roads again. And I will, yeah, I will uh, record when I'm at 50%, I guess. We will see us later. So, yeah, see you later. Yeah. You know this moment when you ride for a couple of hours and finally got some uh, find some toilet <laughs> it's priceless I, I would kill somebody for go <laughs> for going to the toilet uh, it's like like right now so second time we at the charging station using infrastructure for free <laughs> because we don't need this uh, stupid fluid over there <laughs> yeah whatever so hey this is an epic number look at this 101 done already 101 left 50 percent hell yeah this will, yeah, awesome challenge, man. I will do over 200 kilometers. Oh, yeah. Oh, but now, <laughs> stop talking trash. I have to go to the toilet. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, cut it. We'll see you later.
Yeah, I just take a break <laughs> after toilet everything. Oh yeah, so good, so good, so good. Now, let's do the second half of this challenge. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, by the way, uh, I have done 40, 24,000 kilometers on this uh, chain here. And the chain is a little bit loose. It's, it starts rattling and something like this. The whole uh, video here, it is not a scientific test. It's just do YouTubing, cruising around, having fun. It's all about. So don't take this too serious. Yeah, there are some lot of circumstances you have to put into account. Uh, like the chain is not new. Like the tire, the tire has a... Uh, uh, the tire has some some miles on it. U tire would be more efficient, I guess. Yeah, whatever. So, you know, you know uh, what I tell what I tell you. It's just it's just a comparison, or it's just what I show you how much is possible. But tell you, the chain is rattling a little bit, so I have to replace it soon. I will do at the thirty thousand kilometer service. So, gas station is always a pleasure. <laughs> You know this when you go to a gas station just for using the toilet or buying some drinks and stuff, but you ride electric. <laughs> so when you go into the, uh, into the shop, they uh, often ask mostly or yeah, very often you uh, they asking you, did you um, fuel your car or you fuel your bike or whatever? <laughs> and I say no, bitch, <laughs> I ride electric. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, no, I should just right here, whatever. So... Hey, here we are back again. Um, yeah, need to recharge my <laughs> Sena because yeah, it was uh, battery was down and I uh, couldn't record uh, my vlog anymore. Uh, yeah, I forgot to charge it overnight. <laughs> so whatever, Sena, mo yeah, and mobile phone is also dead. <laughs> but tell <laughs> you. <laughs> The motorcycle battery is still going strong. <laughs> so funny. And yeah, here, let me show you some data. We have r total riding time, three, three hours, 20 minutes almost. And yeah, whatever. So range would 155. And here, yeah, yeah, almost 160 kilometers. We have 22% uh, remaining battery and then we have to drain it down. This is the BMS. Yeah, in average, I was uh, going between 50, uh, this is 30 miles, and 80 kilometers per hour. This is um, 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 50, 55 ki uh, um, miles per hour on, on uh, country roads. This is uh, depends on speed limits. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> So probably we won't we won't make it under four hours, but this is not the challenge. The challenge is even more how much range we can get out of this of this uh, thirty point four kilowatt battery. Uh, I, I, it, it's a little bit raining, so it's a little, little gentle raining here. Uh, no big deal, but it's <laughs> temperature is falling. I'm freezing. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> sometimes I ask me why I doing this challenge. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, in the beginning it was fun, now it is. Why are you doing this? <laughs> oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, if you want to be a famous YouTuber, you have to suffer sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ugly weather, tell you. Now I'm a little bit late, it's uh, 6 o'clock. People are coming back from work, are stuck in traffic. Uh, but yeah, I, did, I guess this is this is cool because we have different uh, weather, we have different conditions, free roads um, after the afternoon, and now, yeah, uh, it's um, it's it's a lot of traffic going on. It's wet, so we have different conditions. 
it's I guess this is a good reference for for a comparison for for a range test under different circumstances. It's not it's, it, it is not laboratory um, testing here. It is real world testing. I will set um, I will set camera on again when I do the last miles on it until it it's drained down, and yeah, give your conclusion on everything. So yeah, see you later. Uh, I hope I don't die. <laughs> So, once it's dead, <laughs> probably you saw Brandon's review on the live wire. Once the battery is dead, <laughs> you're not able to ride anymore. But now, don't panic, Odinergica. This is not the case. Just set it off, wait a few seconds, 50, 20, 30 seconds. Now, <laughs> set it on again. <laughs> and now, computer is uh, starting up and guessing how much consumption and how much range we have still. So you can reactivate, and it's the battery is not empty. It's just the BMS uh, told you now it's over. Now it set it off. Limp mode is activated still. So now we can cruise back home. Oh, <laughs> made it! Made it! Yes! <laughs> Dude, battery is depleted. Absolutely made it back home at <laughs> the last charge. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh wait. Uh, I have to push it right now. Uh, so. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome back, yo. <laughs> um, I decided to do this um, conclusion uh, today because yesterday I did the range test, and before the battery was drained down on the Energica. Yeah, Sena headset battery was, was absolutely dead. My cell phone was absolutely dead. I had no other opportunity to record my voice. So, and I thought it's better to do uh, some explanation here how this real world range test was possible um, up to 220 kilometers. So first up, I have to tell you, this was not a VLTP laboratory environment test. This was real world. Everyone can do it. So, but... I want to tell you something you have to put in, uh, into account. In the first uh, part I explained about tires, about pressure, and this tire, the uh, SportSmart MK3 is a sports tire. It's not a touring tire, uh, which you can do more range, but this is a sports tire, an all-weather sports tire, which is suitable for everyday riding on the Energica form, yeah. Usually, when some stranger came to me and asked me about the motorcycle in general, how fast this goes, and all the type of questions all day, all day the same. So I give them the answer when I ask him what's the range. I say between 100 and 200 kilometers you can do with it. So in this case, it depends on your riding habits, on your riding mentality. Yesterday I was going really conservative. Uh, I stick to the speed limits. In, in towns we have 50 km per hour and out of town on country roads we have 80 km per hour speed limits. I stick to that speed limit and also going with the car traffic. But I didn't overtake, I don't crank the throttle after Tweezy roads, uh, which I do usually because motorcycling is fun, you know. Now, as you saw, I was going uh, a sun, I was going this rain. <laughs> it was so bad, it was so hard. I wasn't prepared for that. I, I expected uh, we have good good conditions, whatever. And we had hills, we had twizzy roads, we had anything. So this is a real world test. Everyone can do, telling you straight. So let's jump over to the screen. Let me sh uh, let uh, Alan, let me show you how we did this uh, range test where I was riding. So range test ego. Um, here we setting off, going through country roads, through through some towns, and yeah, riding ahead. And here it's almost flat, but here you see there are really coming up some hills, up and downs. But this is. For Switzerland, uh, this is, is normal, but here you see massive hills, and here even more massive mountains. Boom! 
this road here is amazing to ride, but it's um, it's it's a range killer, you know. <laughs> and here you see on the uh, here on the upside, here we go an uphill, uphill, uphill. Here, this is the highest point, and afterwards here it goes down again. So you can use the regen to extend your range, um, but sometimes you crank the throttle. But this time I was coasting downhill and yeah, make make a lot of miles. Yeah, and then we uh, go in ahead. Here I was arrived in, this is the midland. You see it, it's almost flat. So exactly, and here at this circle here, or this, this quarter, I did this, uh, this is in the half. I, ha uh, I have done this uh, break, go going for a pee. <laughs> Um, this is 50%. Uh, I had a little bit more than 100 kilometers um, done already. When I talk to people, they have all—all all of them have range and anxiety and say, "Yeah, no, electric motorcycles aren't aren't ready for 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 now." And yeah, and so. But I tell you, after two hours of riding, or in total, I have I have done more than four hours of riding. Everyone take a break. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't know anyone who who rides four to five hours in one row. Okay, there are some iron butts out there, of course, this is an exception, but I talk about the, the, the vast majority, the, the, the normal people like me, you know. <laughs> if I took a break, did, did, you saw this video about a fast charging, if I would go to a fast charge, just plug it in and afterwards I continued my ride, this is normal and this is, you can go for four, four, four hours of riding until you have to go to the next charging station and believe it or not, no one rides more than four hours in a row without any break. So you can go to the charging station, yeah, drink something, have a lunch, whatever, and recharge it in a quarter of an hour and then continue. Mostly you have longer breaks. I don't, yeah, if you want to only do a quarter an hour break, 20 minutes until the battery is, is, is refilled, you're, this is stressful. This is not, this is not funny commuting anymore. This is stressful, believe it or not. <laughs> And here we continue to ride, uh, cruising around. And yeah, I guess it was here, uh, around here. I did this last break uh, when I had 22% remaining battery. Uh, it was around 160, 170 kilometers uh, done already. And if you estimate the range now, you would say it will make 200 kilometers. Because my, ex max my experience is, with 1% of battery, you can do one mile or one, one a half kilometer per percent of range. So this, if you go conservative like I did yesterday, you can go with 1% of um, state of charge, you can do two kilometers if you go conservative. But if you calculate that, I've done 220 kilometers and I have done with the last remaining 20%, I have done 60 kilometers, 40 miles. I was setting off again and yeah, going to uh, on the city. This was the part, the painful part, which uh, starts to rain. I will show you later on the map. Here we had a lot stop and go, stop and go. And then finally get here. This was the part when battery was drained down to 0%. And I was just doing some circles to drain the battery down to 0%. Yum, 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 and again, yum, 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 yum. And here, this was the part around here when I had the first time this uh, cutoff, um, the high voltage, um, yeah. The BMS say, now it's over, battery is depleted, so please do a recharge. Was the first time when you saw the video, which was ended right now here. And when the, when the energy is drained down to zero, it is not dead. You can set it off after a few a few seconds or one minute, set it on and it's reactivate. BMS is guessing the remaining energy and give you that remaining energy, but it's it immediately starts to go in limp mode just to stay very conser conservative. In limp mode, you can go up to a c the, 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 the usual speed you, you ride in cities, um, 50 kilometers, uh, 30 miles per hour. This is usual, so it's. It's not an obstacle, it, it's not impossible to get anywhere, um, so you can coast to the next charging station or back home. Like I did, you saw it in the beginning, with the third third time it was cut off, 
I made it on the entrance of the garage. It was so funny. But maybe you're interested in electric motorcycles. Maybe you watch Sam's video, uh, of course, like I do. And also Brandon's v review on the live wire. I was very curious about it. I watched it. Thanks to those Let's guys for helping. This. Real quick check to make After sure it's stable. His battery was absolutely yeah. dead. <laughs> Shakes the he wasn't able to reactivate. Hell, what's going on here? Oh, Chuck, that's pretty good. And then no, 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 later on, he told the bike me. totally died. It looks like the 12 volt system on it was also totally dead. Figured that. I mean, what 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 the heck is going on here? It is dead. He, he couldn't charge. That was because the itself. red light on the dash wasn't on. That is generally like the 12 volt sign. The Harley and the Zeros both use 12 volt batteries in their latest bikes. The old Zeros use a DC DC to do the 12 volt conversion. So let's stop it here. Most people arguing with me which one is better, Zero, Elifi, whatever, and I'm saying, dude, sorry for. I don't do advertise here, but energy is unbeaten. I was at the headquarter, I speak with the tech engineer there, and it was a mind-blowing experience. I bothered him with so many <laughs> questions, but he was so friendly answering everything because I was so stoked. And that's what that's the reason why I bought the motorcycle. They thought energy is dedicated for quality, no advertise here, but this is my experience. And they don't have this failure. Just just want to be honest. And this is why Energica is the best electric motorcycle out there in performance, in reliability, in everything. So let's... Uh, Energica has opted to stay with the DC-DC, which is why they don't die and stay dead like this bike. I decided to look around for the 12-volt battery and I found one way underneath here. At least it's super easy to get to. That's a lithium 12-volt, 2-amp-hour, 24-watt-hour Harley-Davidson-specific battery. 12-volt battery does, in fact, give 3 volts. This one's definitely dead. We'll top it up a little bit. That will probably give enough voltage for the contactors to close when we put the chargers in and then our bike will be ready to go again. This doesn't bother me so much. If you run your bike out of juice and have to push it for four miles, turn it off. Otherwise, this is how you fix it. See, this is what Brandon told here. It's not what they're telling you. Maybe there are other circumstances why the battery is dead, but it happens and this won't happen on Energica. And when you um, activating the, or ignite the motorcycle, ignite, yeah, you have this button to activate um, the high voltage circuit. Once it sets on go, it is uh, going like a rocket. But you hear that clicking when, the, when this uh, contact is closing. And this was the, the problem with that low voltage on the 12 core volt battery. The bike wasn't possible to close that contact again because it was it was dead. So nothing was it wasn't possible to start up the computer. It wasn't start up uh, possible to start up anything uh, in uh, internal system anymore. It's an easy fix. You can replace the battery, but if you're stuck out there nowhere, it's it's a pain in the ass. I like the Harley Davidson for the build quality and everything, but this is a little bit disappointing because. This is the, the, the kind of range and anxiety we, we, want, we don't want to have. We don't want to have panic. Oh no, it's dead, it's dead. Uh, uh, once you drain it down to zero, everyone is panicking now because you don't know what what's can happen. And the Energica says, if, you, if once the battery is dra drained down to zero percent, almost nothing, you have to recharge it within 24 hours. So you otherwise you can have also internal damage. So when I came back home, you saw it. I immediately plug it on. If if there's something wrong, I, I would go to the public charging stations a few uh, kilo, uh, miles, uh, yeah, half half a mile from where I live and charge it there. So I have to, yeah, have a backup system in that way if some uh, yeah, if, if energy was shut down at our house, whatever. So just keep, yeah, I think it forward. Back to this one. Let me show you, explain something. This is kind of very important. Maybe you, you saw, I use this triathlon watch uh, very often. <laughs> exactly. I use this triathlon watch, watch to track the whole um, range test. So this is why you see this height profile, where I'm going and stuff. Yeah, this is, I use usually for triathlon, we use this, but I used it this, this time uh, and you saw the total elevation, all, the, all this kind of stuff. And you saw, Three, yeah, two percent less range on this um, triathlon watch, and be believe it or not, this triathlon watch is very precise. 
And also, energetic odometer is also very precise. Now let me explain you for the nerds who watch this range test really in depth. Let me explain why this happens. Let's set on velocity here. And you see in this green parts where I go slower and the red parts where I go faster. And for example, when I when I go somewhere in the city or wherever, let me show you some. Yeah, here in the city, you see in all these green parts here, when I go slower, uh, at intersections, uh, yeah, here in traffic, you see all these green parts. This watch has, has some function. When you're stopping, it's, it's pause the measurement. And when you, once you roll off, it needs 10 to 20 meters to reactivate. So every time I was standing or stopping at an intersection or at red lights or in traffic, accumulate this on 220 kilometers, this is explaining that gap between this result and the result on Energica. So just want to explain, I didn't fake here anything or uh, Energica fake something to make uh, looks it has more range. No, this is, this is reality and yeah, whatever. I really hope this uh, gives you a little bit more confidence what, uh, when it comes to go riding an electric and uh, give you an answer on so many questions like how it is, is it convenient, and what will happen at the end. You saw it, <clears throat> once the battery was drained down to almost zero, I can reactivate it and made it back home. Once it, it, it's dead, you can reactivate and do it again. Three to four times you can do it. In total you can make, let me, let me say, two or three miles in my experience, it's, it's up to five kilometers I have remaining range I can do with that. So it's only possible to coast to the next charging station. Just keep that in mind. And I hope also you don't have panic once the battery is dead. The Energica is not dead. It's not you have to go straight to the dealer and let it repair. So this is bomb proof, man. I'm telling you, this is why this motorcycle is not only crazy insane from the performance, it is also well made. They, Energica, they built that with passion. It's it's not only, yeah, putting parts together and make to to and and adding two wheels and and call it motorcycle. But I have also to tell you, it's very important. I don't want to bash all the brands, but people with with E zero motorcycles or Harley Lifeirons come often to me and start arguing which one is better and something. And I, I'm a kind bored of this. I don't want. I want to have a good vibe with all riders together. And yeah, go, let's go on a ride. Let's have fun, twisty roads. Let's have fun live riding electric. It's not which one is better. But I hate it constantly to defending Energica because you saw so many reviews. Come on, what's wrong, dude? I will. Yeah, do, I will do a speed test also. Zero owners or Harley advertising, they want to make look the energica bad. And this is, come on, what's what the heck is going on here? If you if you continue like this, I will make more videos like this. I will bash your brands like hell, man. <laughs> I promise, you won't survive it. <laughs> energica is untouched. Tell you straight. <laughs> and if if people came to me constantly and bother me with which one is better and arguing about and why the Energica is such a bad motorcycle and why the Energica costs too much and why the Energica whatever do. Hey, I will put the next video online. <laughs> so don't do it. And yeah, keep the good spirit here in the group and yeah, whatever. <laughs> Hope you really enjoyed this video and the whole explanation. It was kind of nerd talk and it, the video was taking very long. I, I knew, I knew, of course. Usually I do short videos, but this time it, it takes what it takes, you know. <laughs> but I, I think the real fans and the, the hardcore people sticking to my channel, they uh, yeah love it to watch it. And if you have some questions or, or ideas, let me know in the comment what I should do should do, do next. I have so many ideas, I can't finish I can't finish every project project. But if you have some concerns, ideas, whatever, let me know in the comment. I'm really, really wanna love it to know what your thoughts about. And yeah, also sharing the excitement like any time. So with these last words, I want to say, ride faster, charge faster like any time and see you next time. I'm out of here. Boom.